Although not the most exciting topic, a great deal of work goes on behind the scenes to ensure the compliance of the products that we work with. CLP may not be something that you're aware of, so as part of this technical support video, I will explain what CLP is and why it's important to our customers. I'll decipher some of the jargon and acronyms and indicate where you can get further information. You may all be familiar with the symbols on the left, but it may surprise you to know that these so-called pictograms became redundant in mid-2015. CLP is the Classification, Labelling and Packaging legislation which came into force on the 1st of June of that year, covering the whole world right down to household cleaning products. It is this symbol on the right that you should now see on all the products that you purchase. It replaces the old CHIP system of 2009, which was only European based. CHIP represents the chemical, hazards and information packaging for supply. SDS or safety data sheet is a term that you've probably come across before and they can run into many pages. Here though, we're just going to highlight a few major points. Revision date is when the safety data sheet was issued, also covered in section 16 on the next slide. Product name and supplier details are safe explanatory and emergency contact details where an expert will be able to help give you further advice. Section 16 gives additional information such as if the supplier's business address has changed and the date of this change. Section 2 is a bit more in depth, showing the hazard statements and whether they refer to physical, health and environmental hazards. And there's also a large section which appears on the product label showing what hazards are present and the constituent product that creates the hazard warning. Section 3 contains more details on the declared constituents creating the hazards, including what the hazard actually is, the concentration of the component, the CLP classification, and the REACH registration of the constituent, which brings us to the last acronym. REACH is the Registration, Evaluation, Authorization of Chemicals, and it's an EU regulation from 2006. You can find loads more information by checking out our website, by checking Twitter or dropping us an email. I hope you found this video useful and please have a browse through our other videos.